Hi, this is Rebecca Pohlmeyer with set 5 of my book critiques for EDU 318. The first text in my feature text for this set is The True Confessions of Charlotte Doyle by Avi. This is a realistic fiction book that tells the story of Charlotte, a 13-year-old girl aboard a ship of gruff sailors headed by a ruthless captain. After she is mysteriously charged with murder, Charlotte must defend herself. I do want to add a disclaimer before going any further with this. The recommended reading level for Scholastic is 10 to 14 years for this book. After reading it, I don't know that I would be comfortable giving it to a 10-year-old because of some of the themes and some of the content appropriateness. I think it would be more suitable for children 14 years or older. So I do want to say that if you would like this book in your classroom, I highly, highly, highly recommend reading it first before giving it to students. That being said, I chose this book because of several reasons. The first of which, it is a mystery. I didn't read a lot of mystery books in school growing up, and so I think this would be a great way to incorporate some more mysteries into the literature curriculum. It also incorporates some unusual topics, like I just mentioned a minute ago. There are themes of murder and revenge, which are very dark, but there are also themes like what it meant to be a girl in the 19th century. Finally, the most important reason I chose this is because of its emphasis on justice and doing the right thing and taking responsibility, even in the face of great hardship. The first lesson I've created for this is a web quest and mock trial. This science was 7th grade Virginia Social Studies Standards of Learning, which talk about government and how students will understand the Constitution and different branches and powers of the national government. In this lesson, students will use critical thinking to complete a web quest activity and explore digital interactive constitution. They will creatively and collaboratively organize their arguments for participating in a mock trial, and then will use a variety of communication skills to engage in the mock trial, trying Charlotte Doyle for murder. Here's an example of a web quest I found for free on Teachers Pay Teachers. It's fully editable, and it's already about our court system, which would be a great one to use. This is the interactive constitution I mentioned. This is from constitutioncenter.org, and this is an incredible education, educational resource for teachers and students. After they do all their research, students will engage in a mock trial trying Charlotte Doyle for murder. So a trial happens in the book, but it's not done exactly legally, so students will write that wrong here. This is an example of a mock trial that I found online. I credited it there, and she used in hers a script for the judge. She had student templates for writing things like questions and answers from lawyers, for writing opening and closing statements. So this is an incredible way to take the themes and the government concepts that students have learned in the book and from their outside research and actually apply it. And my second lesson is a digital journal, again for seventh grade, this time with an English standard, which talks about how the students will develop different types of writing. In this lesson, students will use critical thinking skills to creatively document a week in their life via a digital journal. They will communicate and collaborate with peers by publishing their journal entries to the class page, where they can also comment and provide feedback on each other's work. The digital journal I'm using is writeabout.com, which is a resource that has lots of different writing prompts and teachers can also create their own. So that's what I've done here. This is my journal entry post artifact. I've explained the assignment. I've told them that they need to keep a digital journal told them that they can feel free to exaggerate their stories like the sailors did in the book, and to make sure that they use descriptive language and show, don't tell. So students would see this, and then all they have to do is click on the Write About button, write their post, and then it will submit it to the teacher, and the teacher can choose to share that with the class, and then they can comment on each other's posts. The other books I read for this set are Shiloh, about an 11-year-old boy who secretly finds and cares for an abused dog, Misty of Chincoteague, which is a story of two children and their attempts to capture and tame a wild pony in her foal. This one I actually read in fourth grade and remember absolutely nothing about, so it was fun getting to read it again and experience it for that first time a second time. Rosa is a picture book about Rosa Parks and her stand for justice. 
And finally, Frederick Douglass, The Lion Who Wrote History. I think this book is especially timely because just this past week, Juneteenth was established as a federal holiday. So Frederick Douglass is one of the greatest leaders of the abolitionist movement, so this book could definitely be used in a lesson about Juneteenth and um, important black figures who helped bring about the end of slavery. Ending with another quote, this one from The True Confessions of Charlotte Doyle. A sailor chooses the wind that takes the ship from safe port, but winds have a mind of their own. This shares how we can make our decisions about life and we can have our own choices, but ultimately not everything will go our way. And so it makes us think about how will we adapt and it makes our students think about what will I do if something doesn't go my way? How can I still make this a positive experience? 